A handicapped student goes to park but finds unlikely people breaking the law right here on campus. University vehicles, including the Elon campus police cars, have been spotted in handicapped spaces. Jeff Ackerman has the story of one student frustrated with her parking situation. Jeff? Thanks, Jasmine. Jess McDonald broke her foot and got a handicapped parking pass to use around campus. But when she tried to park in spots reserved for handicapped students, she found other cars there instead. These days, it's hard for junior Jess McDonald to get around. She broke her foot a few weeks ago and now uses a handicapped parking pass to park on campus. Making it harder for her to get around are all the cars illegally parked in handicapped spaces, including campus police vehicles and students. I have come to colonnades before and there will be like one spot left and it's the furthest spot away when there's two police officers parked closer. After facing this problem over the last week, McDonald says it's time that others on campus know about it too. I guess we just need to keep an eye on what's going on. And if things don't get better, maybe we can have some kind of awareness raising event. That's where McDonald's friend, Junior Maggie Castor, comes in. She's outraged that university vehicles are taking up these reserved spaces. Right here we have a university vehicle that's actually been here since Wednesday. Castor got so angry she decided to do something about it. First she reported police officers using handicapped spaces. And that was sort of awkward because I was reporting the police to the police who were doing it. She says campus police officers need to be ticketed like any other student would. So she took the issue to Facebook, hoping to spread the word to students who are also parking in the spots. Here, this car just pulled up. I don't see a sticker in the front. So it's, I mean, it's something that's still an issue. Castor and McDonald took pictures of campus dining vehicles taking up handicapped spaces and aren't sure why it seems to them that campus police haven't done anything about it. With pictures in hand, we headed to campus safety and police to see what chief of police, Chuck Cantos, had to say. Is this something that you tolerate? Um, no, in fact, uh, when that came to our attention, we immediately checked into it, and we, in fact, did have an officer that had parked her vehicle in a handicapped spot, and that's not acceptable. Gantos agrees that campus police officers cannot park in handicapped spots. It better never happen again, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's important to point out that Castor also has some support from university officials. She was directed to Brooke Barnett, who helps promote diversity awareness on campus. Castor says Barnett has assured her the problem won't continue, and she even has the support of Smith-Jackson. Stay with Phoenix 14 for more on whether the situation has improved. Jasmine?